Hello, my name is Chris Tim. I'm a PSA and MSP consultant specializing in helping MSPs get the best out of their PSA tools. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Outlook plugin for Autotask. So what is the Outlook plugin? The Outlook plugin allows you to uh, create from an email a ticket, an account note, anything like that. It plugs directly into the desktop version of, of Outlook and you can see in here we have um, we have the auto task option selected in here so let's go ahead and, and have a look at how this actually works and how you would go ahead and download this so to start directly from within inside auto task if you click on the admin module and then click features and settings application wide settings and go to downloads and you will see here the outlook extension all you need to do is click this little down arrow and this will go ahead and download the zip file for you. Once you've run the, the zip file, logged in, you should see this option up here inside Outlook. Okay, so let's go and have a look at how this works. So here you can see in Outlook, I have a, an email from a customer that says to me, Outlook is not working. Okay, and my Outlook is no longer connecting. So I'm gonna look at this and say, this is possibly gonna be a ticket. Right, the customers contacted me directly, but this really should have come into our support desk. So what this plugin allows me to do is to actually take this email and create it as a ticket within Autotask. So once I click on the Autotask option on the menus, I can see in here I've got um, a, a bunch of options. So one of them is create from email, and this is basically saying I can create a ticket, an account note, or I can add to a ticket note, whatever the case might be. So in this particular instance, I'm gonna create this as a ticket. So when I click on create ticket, first thing this will do is it'll go ahead and it'll log in to Autotask. I need to just allow the pop-ups. Let's go try that again. So what we can do directly from within here is create the ticket and you will see this is now bringing up a new ticket screen. Now, one of the things you'll notice is it's immediately brought in the name of a company. And this is because it's registered that this has actually been sent from chris at karenproperties.com. So at this point, I have the ability to now go ahead and open up, um, uh, or when I create this as a ticket, it automatically assigns it to the right company knowing who it's from. And I can also see Outlook is not connecting and all of the information that comes out of this email it is ending up inside this ticket. So simply at this point, I can click on the save button and this is gonna go ahead and save my ticket. And there you can see the ticket has now been created. Okay, so the other thing that we can now do with this as well is maybe this was actually an, an email that we needed from a point of view of um, of this just being an account note. So maybe I'm the account manager and somebody sent me a message and I wanna just add this to the account in Autotask. So I can do the same thing just by clicking on account note. And what this will do is exactly the same thing. It's found out who the company is based on the email address that's been sent in. And then I can simply change this to, you know, the action type is maybe gonna be email in here and you can see it takes this entire thing and says that this email has been imported in from Outlook. And when I click on save and close, then very simply, if I go and have a look at this particular company, so if I actually go and look up Karen Properties, what I should see in here, if I click on the account detail tab, I should see that this information here has been entered into into the system. So there it is. My Outlook is no longer working, etc, uh, etc. Et so very, very quick and easy way of being able to get this information into Autotask. And I use this all the time. Whenever I communicate with customers, I use this all the time. If a customer sends me an email and I think that it should be something to do with a, either a ticket or a, um, an account note, I simply add it in as the account note. Now let's take a look at sending a message to them. So if I'm going to reply to this particular message, over here you will see on my reply screen, I actually have this, this auto task button. 
So if I click on reply, I can see I've got a send to Autotask here as well. And then very simply, all I'm gonna do is to say um, something like, Okay, so I'm gonna do something to that effect. Make sure I spell that correctly. And then from here, I can say send to Autotask. Now, one of the really nice things at this point, when I click on send to Autotask, this is not only going to send the email for me, it would be the same as me clicking on the send button here, but it's also going to send it and create it as an account note within Autotask as well. So if I cl simply click send to Autotask, you'll see it basically says an account note has successfully been created. Now, if I go into here again and I do a, a, a refresh on this, actually, let's just close this down and let's just go back in and look at this company again. It's often the best way to refresh it. Now you can see, I said, thank you for contacting me. I've logged a ticket. It, it obviously didn't get my, uh, my corrections, but there you go. There's an example of how you can, um, you, you can use this Outlook plugin that's built into Outlook um, from Autotask and allow you to actually um, send and receive messages uh, and, and add them automatically to your CRM. So I hope that's been useful. Uh, if you have any comments, please comment below or alternatively contact me via our website, which is www.sondellaconsulting.com. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you on the next video.